Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that I am able to put up a makeup tutorial for you guys that I've been wanting to do for so long as you know I've been sick so I have been just dying to put up a makeup tutorial on my channel for a long time especially with a lot of the things that I've been buying lately and things that have been uh, being sent to me as well and I have had the Anastasia Prism palette now for a couple weeks and it's just been sitting there on my vanity saying use me use me because the colors are so pretty but I knew that the minute I was gonna dig into this palette it was gonna be a real glam look the one that I have on today so I didn't want to just play with it and just try out the shadows I really wanted to create a really nice glam look for you guys because the colors are as always very powerful very pigmented her colors are always very blendable very easy to use you guys know that these colors, her formulas are, you know, just tap your brush, full pigment on the eye. Some colors work great with brushes, some colors work great with your hands. Um, and as you see throughout the tutorial, how I used um, the colors, I just, I, I love this color. Um, I love this palette. Every time she comes out with a new palette, I keep saying it's my favorite, but they're all wonderful. And I also got to use her Glow Kit Sugar, which this is probably my favorite of all her highlighting palettes. I love highlighters that have almost like a whimsical tone to them where you see the blues and the greens and the purples, you know, variations of colors in one highlight. I do love my bronzy highlights and my silvery highlights, but I definitely love highlights that have more than one dimensional and this highlighting palette definitely has that. If you guys want to see a really good swatch on this palette, refer to my Instagram. I did a really nice swatch for you guys so you guys could see how pretty these colors really are. Um, overall, I'm very pleased. I love using blues on my eyes. You know, they're very complimenting for brown eyes, brown hair, anything blue tones, purples, and greens. Um, so I definitely wanted to gravitate to those colors in the palette. So yeah, guys, if you guys like this look, um, stick around so you can see the full tutorial. All right, guys, now that I have you up close and personal, I'm gonna start with prepping my skin. And the one item that I have been really using nonstop this season is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Hydrating Mask. Um, it is a hydrating mask, something that you put on and you leave overnight, but I have been using it as a moisturizer. And that being, the reason for that is because um, this has glycerin, which works great for applying makeup. It really adheres to the skin and it acts like a primer and it also has squalene which is an ingredient that I am a big fan of um, because it's really good with hydrating the skin and it just looks really good underneath makeup. So I use this stuff non-stop. It's like a jelly form, like a gel form and I just use a little bit because this stuff is a little bit heavy but if you're like myself who has really dry skin you're going to love this. I'm gonna go ahead and color correct the center area of my skin that becomes really red and I know and as you guys know I'm a big fan of the L'Oreal infallible color corrector. Um, I love this because it just really helps reduce the redness on my skin. So I just apply it sporadically. I don't apply too much just in the areas that I want to highlight that are typically uh, naturally red on my skin. This really helps bring the brightness underneath the foundation. But I try not to use too much because I don't like to have too many layers on my skin. Um, I believe that the less layers, the better the complexion looks. So I'm just doing like a really, really light application with a damp beauty blender. One of my favorite foundations that I've been using a lot, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I'm not a big fan of the color selection. This color kind of works, but it's one of those colors that I have to really play around with and highlight and contour because it's got a lot of a it's got a pink undertone for me. It's not olive enough, but it does work. You know, once again, like once you contour and highlight, it does end up working throughout the day. And I am in the color 3C1 Dusk. Applying foundation with your fingers I think is something that 
A lot of people should start doing more often. You'd be surprised at the finish that the foundation really does give an overall finish. You know, your hands have that natural warmth that really melts the product really nicely into the skin. And it just almost looks more airbrushed than as opposed to a brush or a beauty blender. Now, I am a big fan of brushes and beauty blender as well. But the initial application, I always like to use my hands, finishing it off with a damp beauty blender. And it also depends on the foundation. Some foundations are better to be applied with brushes. Some are better to apply with you know, a beauty blender. It really just depends on the foundation as well. If it's very liquefied, I don't suggest a beauty blender. If it's very creamy and heavy, beauty blenders are great. But this is kind of like a satin to matte finish. So I think the hands work pretty well. I always suggest to try your hands first before a brush and a beauty blender. Now I'm gonna get my beauty blender and I'm just gonna like push the product into the skin. My skin is so dry from this weather. I have to exfoliate more. Now I'm gonna use my MAC Soft Okra Paint Pot. This is a great primer for your eyeshadow. I don't like to have a real thick primer on the eyes. Now I'm gonna set it with a little bit of my Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder. Just a light dust and I'm also going on my brows because I am preparing my brows to um, you know uh, draw my brows it's always good to make sure your brows are nice and dry you know free from any wet um, foundation because if your brows are somewhat wet from foundation they will slip all over the place and you won't draw a very nice precise lines so your brows always want to be very dry when you work on them I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. Now I'm going to go ahead and carve my brows with the NYX eyeshadow base. You guys know I am a big fan of this eyeshadow base to carve out the brows because it is an eyeshadow primer and it works much better than a concealer because it keeps the brows in place. Now I try to keep it as close to my skin color as possible. I don't like it to look too light. And then I like to brush them upwards, make sure they're nicely blended and you don't see the lines. Now for the best part, star of the show, the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Prism Palette. This is the first time I get to use this palette and I'm so excited because the colors are so pretty. And the fun part is trying to figure out what colors I'm going to use. I always like to try to use colors that people wouldn't typically gravitate to, you know, maybe some cool tones, just something different. So I look at the palette and I try to see you know, what can I do to make it different? All right, guys, I'm going to start with this really pretty color here called Lure. Is that what it's called? Lure, and it's this beautiful, taupey, cool tone color right here with a nice, fluffy brush. And I'm just concentrating that on my crease. Now let's use the color Dimension right here, this really, really pretty blue. Oh, I'm 
so excited. Let's see how it's gonna work. Most of these colors that are shimmery work great with your fingers, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try it with my brush. Anastasia really does a really good job at making these colors very, very easy to blend. I'm gonna first try it with my brush. I definitely wanna do kind of like a blue eye. So if I have to go over it again with my finger, I will. But right now I'm just trying my brush just to see what I get. And notice how I'm right on the lid, right where the crease begins. And I'll probably go back with my finger just to make it more intense. But right now I am liking the way it looks. I like to use fan brushes like this to remove any fallouts. And again, we haven't done concealer yet, so I guess let's go with Osiris, this one right here. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's this pretty purple, blue, shimmery color right there. Let's use the Anastasia Beverly Hill brush that comes in the palette, this end right here. We're just using this to apply it right there. On the outer V. So We're gonna go back with our finger and go back to that dimen dimension color and see the difference when you actually apply it with your hand. You get a lot more of a payoff when you use your finger. It's like a light fluffy brush. This is the color right here. Loose it. And we're just gonna look. I'm gonna dust it on the bottom. You don't wanna make it too intense because you're highlighting, but this is a very strong color. Now I'm gonna use this Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On pencil on my waterline on the top and the bottom. I usually do this right after I've applied lashes, which is probably what I'm about to do. Okay, now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna go back and use my Urban Decay 24 Hour Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in Black. I'm gonna make sure I really get this color right in the lash line. You see how much easier it is to apply um, eyeliner in your waterline when you have lashes on because you're able to grip your eye back so it makes it easier to just glide the liner and we're also going to do it on the lower line I never, well, I rarely ever wear eyeliner on my waterline, on my lower waterline, and black at least. But with this look, it just seems appropriate. Now, we're going to revisit the skin because I feel like my skin is not the same color as the rest of my body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just use my Urban Decay B6 um, Hydrating Mist because I hate the smell of this thing because that way my face is nice and a little dewy so I can use my NARS Sheer Glow in Stromboli. This really does um, matches my skin color a lot more than the 
Estee Lauder double wear. So I'm just gonna go into, you know, not all over the place, just a little bit, just to bring back the color on my skin because I feel like, I feel like it just was not working with my skin color. Now this is a better match. I don't typically wear two foundations, but it just was not matching and it was bothering me. See, this has a much more of a yellow undertone, so it is much better on me. Much better. All right, now let's do contour and highlight i'm gonna go ahead and cream contour i'm gonna use my nars radiant cream and concealer in the color cafe i really want to get my contour very chiseled i usually work with one area at a time because if this stuff starts drying up fast it does become blotchy so you always want to work with one area at a time i noticed that a lot of people you know draw the lines everywhere and then they go back and blend but it's always good to work with one area at a time I know this is a darker color than I typically contour with, but because I'm a little bit tan, I do have my spray tan on. I like the color to be a little bit darker, but in the end it all works. I typically contour with a more cool tone color, especially when I contour with powders. When I contour with creams, somehow they end up, you know, more of a warmer tone, which is fine because you'll just look more tanned. There's nothing wrong with looking more tanned. Now I'm going to highlight and conceal my under eyes. I like to use a combination of both Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and under my eyes I like to use the light medium. And I typically, what I like to do is just use it right here. Under my eyes. And I kind of bring the light neutral right here just to give it that highlight. And again, I like to use a wet brush to start the blending. And then I use my beauty blender. Make sure your beauty blender is done. I'm gonna go ahead and use the new Morphe um, Beauty Blender, I heard it's really good and I love the shape of it. It's a little more, more firm than the Beauty Blender, but I wanted to give it a try. I'll let you guys know how I like it. So far it's cool because I do love the shape of it. But the Beauty Blender is a little bit softer. Now I like to get the light neutral and I like the bridge of my nose. I just put a little bit here and bring it down the center. I always like to wet my brushes before I go in with any cream product. It really helps hydrate the area and make it more blendable. with a color this strong for the nose you have to do very 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 little because this could go 
wrong really really fast just like that much you really don't need a lot because this color is so strong you don't need a lot and you'll see how much a little can take you far Alright, let's finish the eyes. We're going to go back into the Prism palette from Anastasia. And we're going to first go with the really pretty Osiris. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to just go for Osiris. <laughs> You're going to get a clean blending brush and you're just going to just kind of blend out, make it look faded. Always want to work with clean brushes, especially when you're switching colors. A nice um, smudge brush like this one. And you're gonna go into the color called Lure, which is the transition color that we worked at at the very beginning. And you're just gonna kind of go right over underneath the blue, just a little bit to make it look smoky. And that just gives it a very nice contrast because it's exactly what you did on the top. Now we're gonna go into setting our complexion we're gonna first i'm gonna first use this candlelight candlelight glow sheer perfecting powder from laura mercier i'm going to use the number two this is a really pretty setting powder just to like set your makeup overall um so I can go on into bronzer. This setting powder is really nice because it's got luminosity to it. So, Okay guys, I don't know if I was recording, but I went ahead and I bronzed my skin. I used um, my NARS. I used my NARS Casino bronzer, which is a little bit darker than Laguna. And that's because I have a spray tan on right now. Um, it's basically just, you know, a little bit darker. It's nothing uh, shimmery or anything. It's flat. So I went ahead and bronzed with that. I'm not sure if it recorded. Um, I'm not going to go with use. I'm not going to use any blush. I feel like I have enough bronzer. And since I went ahead and used two different foundations, I don't want to keep layering on my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I bronzed my skin and I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Glow Kit, the new one in sugar and these colors are absolutely unbelievable if you guys want to see a swatch of all these colors go ahead and go to my instagram and i did a really nice swatch of all the colors but i think i'm going to go ahead and use butterscotch because it goes really well with the brow bone that i used um the brow bone color this gold color that i have that's highlighting my eyes i'm going to go ahead and use butterscotch because i think it'll be a nice combination to use with both um, so I love this highlighter oh this highlighter from Anastasia is probably my favorite of all of her highlighting kits yeah this is so pretty guys Oh. 
just a little above my brows. Put it everywhere. <laughs> I love highlighting. Oh, I'm still obsessed with highlighting. Okay, so now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and spray our face before we do mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and use the new, I got this in BoxyCharm, my BoxyCharm subscription, the Cover FX Illuminating Spray. One thing I love about this spray, it does have luminosity, so you're gonna see a little bit of shimmer, which is not a bad thing. Um, the mist is absolutely excellent. It's probably the best mist I have ever used by far in any setting spray. It's just so refined. Oh, it's perfect. So now we're gonna go into lipstick and mascara. Let me go pick out a lipstick and I will be right back. Okay guys, let's do mascara and I'm gonna use my current favorite mascara which is from Maybelline. I love the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This is my third one. This is the one by Shayla in black. Um, I love this mascara, I really do. I think I like it more than the L'Oreal one. By far my favorite drugstore mascara. I keep buying it over and over. I just love it. I love how dark it is and how it really extends, even though I have falsies, it really extends your lashes because I wear this on my natural lashes and I love how it looks. And do not think I forgot inner corner highlight. I think I need a little bit of inner corner highlight. Go ahead and highlight the inner corners of the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and use Lucid, the one I use on my brow bones. I'm gonna do that right in the inner corners of my eyes. <sighs> the story of my life, trying to find the brush that I need at the moment. a little bit too not just in the inner corner but I like to just kind of brush it up okay now comes lips I was debating going back and forth I know I have a little bit of lipstick on right now because I was trying to figure out what lipstick I wanted I am gonna first start out with let me take this off. One of my all-time favorite lip liners from NYX. It's the color Nude Beige. I love... I love this color. Filling in my lips with the liner because I love this color. I am going to use my NARS Buenos Aires lip pencil. It's it's a velvet gloss. It's very glossy. Um, but it's such a beautiful color. It's not matte. And the best part is it lasts all day, especially if you put it on top of a lip liner, it'll last you all day. But look how pretty this combination is. It's like the perfect nude. Do I need blush? Should I try on a little bit of blush? I think it's good. I always get a Q-tip and I clean my beauty mark because it gets covered with foundation. And it's back. All right, guys, this is the finished look. 
I hope you guys like it. Guys, okay, fine. I lied. I am going to use a little bit of blush. I'm using the Sarah Moon collection from NARS. This is like one of my favorite. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this blush because this was from the collection from Sarah Moon, but it's from NARS and it's called Isadora. And I'm just obsessed. I can't even explain it. It's definitely like a plum color, but it has iridescence to it. So I'm just going to apply a little. That's it. Just a little. See how much better that looks? Yeah. I lied. I ended up using blush. I'm just hacking it on today, guys. Hacking it on. Now, I promise I'm finished. This is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys for watching the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want to see another tutorial using this palette. Let me know down below or just give me a like and I'll know that I'll create more looks with this palette. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching.